Here I have an interesting toy. Right now it is not doing much, but when I turn off the lights, its eyes start glowing. The toy can tell when it's dark, but how does it do that? You can quickly figure out that this component right here makes the magic happen, so let's use it to make a circuit that can detect light to switch things on or off. This is a photoresistor, also known as a light-dependent resistor. You can recognize it by the squiggly line going through it. As the name implies, it is a resistor whose resistance changes, depending on how much light is hitting it. With my studio lights at full power, I'm measuring about 3 kilo ohms, but if I reduce the brightness, the resistance rises to 20 kilo ohms. And if I cover the sensor entirely, I'm getting about 100 kilo ohms. We can use this property of photoresistors to make a light-sensitive circuit. However, we cannot just connect it in series with an LED and expect it to work. As you can see, the toy here uses a few extra components to turn the LEDs fully on or off. I have split the circuit in three to make it easier to understand how it works. On one side we have the load, which is just two LEDs in parallel, each with its series resistor. On the other, I have the photoresistor and a fixed 10K resistor connected in series. Together they form a voltage divider, and the output voltage changes, depending on the amount of light hitting the photoresistor. And lastly, there is a single NPN transistor. This is what turns the LEDs on or off. Here's a diagram of how everything is connected together. When there is light on the photoresistor, its resistance is low, and the voltage at the base of the transistor is too low to turn it on. But when the lights go out, the resistance goes up, and therefore the voltage goes up. The transistor starts conducting and the LEDs start to glow. It is easy to make the circuit work the other way around. You just switch the places of the two resistors. This way the load will be powered on when there is enough light, and it is turned off when it's dark. You can also try using a potentiometer instead of a fixed resistor. This gives you a way to adjust the sensitivity of the circuit. Changing its value changes how dark it has to be for anything to happen. Another way you can make a light-activated switch is by using an operational amplifier. The circuit looks like this. The output of the amplifier is connected to the base of an NPN transistor. The inverting input is connected to the middle pin of a potentiometer. This lets you adjust the sensitivity of the circuit. And the non-inverting input is connected to the output of a voltage divider made out of the photoresistor and a 10K resistor. When it is dark and the resistance of the photoresistor rises, the LED turns on. This is what the circuit looks like on a breadboard, and sure enough, when I hit the lights, the LEDs start glowing. But I made a mistake you must know about. If you are ever using a photoresistor circuit to turn lights on, make sure that the photoresistor and the lights are far enough apart. Here on the breadboard I have them too close to each other. This is why the lights do not turn on at full brightness unless I manually cover the photoresistor with my finger. Finally, let's see how you would use a photoresistor with a microcontroller like an Arduino. Once again you make a voltage divider and connect its output to an analog or a digital input pin. This way you can make a circuit turn on or off in the dark, or if you use an analog pin, you can make a circuit that reacts to different levels of brightness. Leave your questions down below and subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my future videos.